The west coast of the island of Hawaii is abundant in marine life. These waters are rich in nutrients which form a vital part of the food web. Mesopelagic micronectin are organisms between 2 and 20 centimeters long which live in the mesopelagic or twilight zone. These fish, shrimp and squid swim upwards to feed at night. This movement is the largest daily migration of any animal on Earth. Mesopelagic micronectin are also a food source for many fish species that humans eat. This daily migration circulates nutrients through the water column and helps remove billions of tons of CO2 from the atmosphere. Small marine plants called phytoplankton absorb carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. Zooplankton, tiny animals, feed on the phytoplankton. So when the mesopelagic micronectin feed on the zooplankton, they transfer the carbon to the depths of the ocean. In some areas, the mesopelagic is starting to be fished to feed farmed fish, which could have a number of detrimental effects on biodiversity, not only on deep water ecosystems, but on other parts of the ocean too, such as marine wildlife, coral reefs, human food security, and even global climate change. Bangor University, NOAA, and the University of Hawaii are studying mesopelagic ecosystems. They discovered that the biomass and abundance of mesopelagic micronectin is higher near shore, particularly in the number of sawtooth eels and krill. Sawtooth eels eat the krill, and whales eat the eels. Their research shows how the primary production from phytoplankton in surface water, which is higher near the shore, could be driving patterns in deep water organisms, and how this may impact other marine ecosystems. It is vital to understand how these complex marine ecosystems interlink, so we can better manage the delicate balance between humans and the natural world.